Okay, we're going to install the tractor plate on the 7400 machine. Um, goes right where the spiral floor plate goes, so we just uh, took that out. We're going to install the tractor plate. Um, there's a lot of adjustment on the tractor plate with these holes. So what we want to get to is with the cutter head knives from underneath, is we want to have about a 16th or an eighth of an inch clearance between the, the cutter head knives and these cracker plate knives. Uh, so when material passes through, kernels get cracked, leaves get chopped up a little bit more, and uh, go so forth. A lot of guys like these in near corn. They've been doing some pretty good things in near corn. Uh, wet silage, they work really well in um, if you choose not to run a kernel processor. Um, you can run it with a kernel processor, but I, I think with the kernel, if you do have a kernel processor in the machine, this is really not needed. Let's just start taking stuff loose. This one has the deflectors on it, so we gotta take the deflectors off and we can take that spiral full plate off. So, um, what do you got cool about an eighth, sixteenth of an inch clearance? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the type of clearance we want. In some instances where you have brand new knives, such as we do right here, you're gonna have to probably put a smaller bolt to give a little bit more clearance for the bottom here. But when the knives do wear, wear down, the cutter drum diameter shrinks and then you can adjust this further up. Are we done? Got about 16th inch going in between that knife or an eighth inch. And it's as perfect as you can get it.